So then your first gig with Lenny was at Hazel Green's restaurant in 1976? I guess so. And that was, that, that came about through... Um, the, the Augusta Jazz Society. Right, okay. And people knew him and people knew me. And basically they put us together and and uh, uh, we played a little bit of duo stuff. Um, uh, this guy, Neil, Neil Mart was the a piano player. And he knew Lenny and um, and uh, had heard of me, I guess. And uh, he put he put the thing together. And he had a party, a little gathering at his house. Too. And I got a chance to play with Lenny and realized that there was, you know, there was no way I could escape him. We, we were locked in immediately. And I felt this amazing sense of, of communication right off the bat. And uh, I enjoyed him and he seemed to enjoy me. And I was certainly in awe of his playing, but I didn't know anything about it. Right. You hadn't heard him. I'd never heard him. Yeah. I didn't know anything. I heard him the first time. And a couple of weeks after that gig, we got together and he came to my house. My, my mother had a house in Brunswick. And we set up in the living room. I ended up with a very, very good tape, very tape recorder. Right. Which was a gift of this guy, Marshall Dodge. Right. The brand new reel to reel Tanberry tape recorder and a couple of good microphones. And I ran the tape recorder and got all those living room, the original living room things. But, but then, then um, what I did after that, I mean, we, we enjoyed it. We had a good time. I think we played one or two concerts. And I just, any time that Lenny was around, he'd be up he'd be back from Boston or someplace. He'd either stay with me or he'd be somewhere nearby. You guys never anything. actually did rehearsals as no, such. No, no, no. Sometimes it seems to me. Sometimes we had a tune list in mind, but we had—I mean, we knew a whole bunch of tunes. And Lenny very often would just start an introduction without saying anything. We'd just go off into something, and I'd find him or not find him. It didn't matter. So we'd say, "I'm going to do a flamenco piece." I say, "Okay." So I just sit there. (laughs) Okay, now let's do some blues. He'd usually announce it. Say, "Okay, let's play some blues." Yeah, Yeah, and 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 we'd go in and out of time. Right. And and, uh, I think that's how the volume one does a lot of that, and on the volume two there's a lot of that. Where the the, the the interplay and going off together and and uh, you know those those ascending lines and we just go up to a certain point and yeah. we stop and we look at what the hell was that okay. <laughs> and that was the kind of fun we had. Did Lenny teach you anything new about jazz? Oh God, yeah. Just to be able to go out that way, yeah. and also the harmonies I was hearing. I mean, I'm completely and entirely an earplug, and I started out arpeggiating chords because I was my next door neighbor was Benny Goodman. And that's the way I started to improvise. I hear the chords, and I was mimicking him playing all his solos. And so I assimilate what I hear. And playing with Lenny, all of a sudden, new harmonies and new places. And I found uh, you could do these descending lines that I never really thought about. I mean, we do some of it on here. These things you need to keep an eye. Just find a note that was working and go with it and get out of the one, two, three, four. Right. Forget about bar lines. Forget about all kinds of stuff that I. I mean, I started out, my first band was a Dixieland band, because that's what I heard. And okay, so I started hearing different harmonies, and I started hearing different things, and I went through the Goodwin stuff, and I started listening to Stan Getz, and I started listening to Bill Evans, and hearing those changes, and um, was very much influenced by Bill Evans. And then Lenny comes on, and he's playing a guitar, and he's feeding me Bill Evans stuff that I was still groping with, and uh, playing with me, and uh, it was amazing, right. an amazing education. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it was impossible to play with Lenny, unless you were just a post, if you know. And there are a lot of people who just play and they, they you know, the, the drummer can die halfway through his solo and nobody's going to know because yeah. they're not listening. But I, uh, you know, I can never remember what key I'm playing in anyway. So if the piano player starts to tune in a different key, I'm going to play it wherever he is. I'm not going to argue with him. You know, I don't know. And so Lenny, would, we could do key changes. We could do all kinds of stuff. Um, um, so, so it was a matter of listening, and and, and he found out too that that uh, um, very quickly, I think, with me that uh, that he could do that right in the middle of a solo, right in the middle of my solo, he could go into three four time, and I was going to follow him right into the right into the bushes, right through into the <laughs> right into the slop, right into the swamp. We'd go follow him right into it. Yeah. He couldn't lose me, and so we, we had a lot of fun chasing each other around that way. Yeah. And I mean, he could lose me because he could do stuff that I couldn't hear. But he was so he was very kind to me. But he also had fun with me. I think wow. you know, we, we, uh, we, I'd heard from grinning after we played, not from playing. 
I'm just looking at him. My yeah. face would be, yeah, I'd have to squeeze it back together. Yeah. And I think he felt, I think he felt very comfortable with me. Um, I, mean, I always felt I was hanging on by a thread. <laughs> it's, it's for dear life, Let's see if I can keep up with anything. Thank you. 
What are we doing now? Automate? That's what I do when I don't have a guitarist and I forgot my clarinet. <laughs> This is another oldie, but a goodie, called Autumn Leaves. And um, we really don't know quite what's going to happen. The rest of this program, as you know, has been carefully rehearsed. And uh, anything may happen in this one. We, we um, decided we just open this up and not try and make it short or even tasty. We just go ahead with it and see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. 